welcome back to my channel everyone so today I'm going to be sharing this set of nails using the magic gel line builders and also I'm going to be using those pigments from my previous video my nail art haul so I will be starting at the beginning of the fill and going through and telling you exactly what magic gel products I'll be using to do her fill and also I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to be showing you the whole hand, the process. I'll just speed up parts so it doesn't take forever for you to watch. And when I get to what the products that I'll be using, I will explain them as well. So anyways, I'm just starting with my medium carbide bit to remove the color from the previous set and to check for lifting, of course. So at this point, I do shape the nail somewhat and I do some shortening of her nails if she's wanting them shortened. And I just find it makes it a little easier for the application of the builders to have kind of the shape you're going for. And then it's less filing when you do apply the builders and have to finish file the nails. So after I'm done filing this first nail, I will speed up the video a little bit so you can watch the process and the removal until I get to the next step. Some of you may be wondering what I have on my fingers. Well, they're a little silicone finger protector. They work perfect, so I do not file my nails with my e-file. And I'll put the link for those down in the description as well as anything that I'm using in this video. I'll have that down in the description as well so you can find it. So on this client, I'll be using a couple different cuticle bits. Now she tends to have a little more cuticle on her nail. So I definitely have to get that lifted up and pushed back. And then I'll be pulling out my round cuticle bit to remove any that I may have left. Now, this is just gonna stop her or prevent her from having lifting by doing this. So now that I'm done all the filing, I'm just taking my nail prep and removing any oils or dust that are left on the nail. 
my first product from Magic Gel I'll be using is their primer, their extra bond. Now this is gonna be really good for helping the clients not have any lifting. So I will be applying it on the natural nail up by the cuticle and letting that dry. Then I'm gonna take Magic Gel's silicone thin base and just apply a thin layer to all of the nails. And you definitely wanna stay away from the cuticles because it would cause lifting. So once I have that on, I will cure it for 60 seconds. So the first builder I'll be using is Magic's Ultra Silk and I'll also be applying it with their number seven sculpting brush. Now this client tends to be a little harder on her nails and will have a little more lifting than most and with this Ultra Silk Builder it's perfect for clients that tend to have a lot of lifting so that's why I wanted to try this one. Let's see how she does with this builder and I will give updates of course of each client when I do try out these new builders to tell you how they did with them. To apply this builder I did my usual slip layer and now I'm applying a bead of it. Now this builder is not self leveling so you do have to fold your brush but the really nice thing about it it does not run it into the cuticle so once I have it in place it stays put. I will still flash cure them but it does stay really nice. So once I'm done applying the builder to all of the nails they will cure for 60 seconds and then I'll be finished filing. So I did really like how this builder applied and once I'm filing, I did find that it was nice to file. You just wanna be really careful when applying it. You wanna fold that brush so it's a nice even nail because obviously with it not being self-leveling, you could have a lot of bumps and I'll do a lot of extra filing. So that's important with this one, I think.
la 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 oh 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 la 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 oh 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 la 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 oh 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 la 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 oh 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 get your road in my trap trap So once I was done filing the nail, I grabbed my buffing block and I wanted to smooth out any scratches or indents that may have been on the nail from filing. Next, I took a brush with some isopropyl alcohol. I find this really removes the dust, especially around those cuticles. And then I'm gonna take a Madame Glam product. It's called Bloom. It's a sheer, subtle pink. And the reason I did this, because the builder was clear and I'm just doing the tips of her nails today. So I definitely wanted to give it a little bit more color to the base of the nail. So I'm just applying one coat of that and then I'll cure that for 60 seconds. So the next thing I'll be doing is I'm taking a white gel polish and I'm only going to do one coat and I'm going to angle it up the side of her nail and I'll just let you watch me do that and then once I get to the next step I'll be explaining what I'll be doing. If you remember in my previous video, which was the nail art nail supply haul, you can see that video in the top right hand corner. Anyways, I had purchased these pigments, so I really wanted to try them out. They're the big trend right now. So I, as you can see, I'm going to be using a lot of different colors and I will be ombreing on that white. Now, when I cured the gel polish, there's a sticky inhibition layer. So that makes it perfect for these powders to adhere to. So I'm going to take a bunch of different pigments and ombre each nail.
So I'm loving how these turned out. They're so pretty, but it just needs something a little more. So we're going to take some gold flakes and add them to each nail. But before I do that, I want to make sure that she has no chipping of the pigments in any way. So I lightly buffed around the edges of the nail. And then the next step, I'll be grabbing my top coat and applying it to the nail without curing it. I'll be taking some gold flakes and adding them. You may have noticed my thumb is covered in yellow pigment and I did a raw glitter on that nail. So note to self and note to you guys, make sure you have gloves on when you're using those pigments because it did stain my nail. So what I had to do was buff off the glitter and then reapply it and then I top coated over my glitter just because I did want to keep staining my nails when I'm working on clients all the time. But the raw glitter is so pretty otherwise if you wore gloves, of course. Getting back to my client's nails, so you can see when you apply the top coat, and of course don't cure it, applying those gold flakes works really slick. It just goes on easy and they're easy to move around. And once I finish doing all of her nails, then they will cure for 60 seconds, of course. off the nails I'm going to take the magic gel techless hyper shine top coat well I absolutely loved how these nails turned out they're so bright and vibrant and pretty for spring the pigments work so well on the white I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and seeing me use the magic gel system so far so good I'm really loving it if you found this video helpful and enjoyed watching it could you give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel thanks everybody for watching and I will see you all in the next one